in today's video I will be studying the sentence mechanics from the uh, book series, the academic writing Longman book series. So without further ado, let's begin our studies and let's see how much further we can finish this book today. Sentence mechanics. Sentences need capital letters and punctuations. A sentence begins with a capital letter and a punctuation mark at the end. So get to know that sentences have to begin with a capital letter. With a capital letter and have to end with a punctuation mark. Capital letter. Cap and with a mark, with a punctuation mark, either this, this, or anything. Use a capital letter for the first word in a sentence. These are the rules. So the class is in room 342. T shall be capital. Put a period after a statement and put a question mark after a question. So these are the punctuation marks that make the final sentence. Either it's a question or it is that it's a statement. So for a statement, we put a uh, period there. And for a question, we put a question mark at the end. Now, uh, capital letters and end punctuation. Are you married? So yeah, that is capital. And here, my friend speaks English. There's a statement. Are you from China? That's a question. He has from Mexico. It's a statement. Do you drink coffee? It's a question. Our. It's a statement. Where do you live? How do you spell your name? That's a question mark. That is a capital letter. She works part time. It's a statement. We like to go swimming. It's a statement. So we have practice seven, editing for errors with capital letters. Find four more missing capital letters, make corrections, okay. My name is Myra. I am from the Dominican Republic. My first language is Spanish. Now I live in Hartford. Today is my first day in this school. I want to learn English. Okay. It is very important for my future. So yeah, these are the four more here. That is done. Practice eight. Editing for errors with capital letters and periods. Correct errors in this paragraph. Add five more capital letters and seven more periods. Kosumi is one of my classmates. She is from Japan. Period. She speaks Japanese, period. Her parents live in Tokyo, period. She has a, she has no brother or sisters, period. She is single, 
Cosmi likes music. Music and fashion. Cosmi likes music and fashion. Period here. Her clothes are beautiful. Let's see how many punctuations did we put? Seven. One. Here, two, three, four, five. Okay. Are beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. She's from Japan. She speaks Japanese. Her parents live in Tokyo. She has no brothers or sisters. She is single. Six, seven. Yes, correct. One period. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now try it out. Complete the information about your class. Then take a sheet of paper and write your six sentences as a paragraph. I'm taking English 10, course name number. My class meets on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It meets from 9.30 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. I'm taking Okay, let's see. I'm taking math. I'm taking academic writing. Academic Writing, my class meets on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. It meets from 9 a.m. to 12 PM We meet in Bullock A B A ten Our teacher name is Asifa. The work is Very interesting. All right. So we can write them, and they have asked us to write it in a sheet of paper and write your six sentences as a paragraph. So what did we do as a paragraph? Okay, yesterday we did practice it. A paragraph, you have to use an indent first. And so if I'm writing this, I'm taking academic writing. So here. My class meets 
on okay monday tuesday and wednesday period it it meets from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. We meet in B10. is Asifa. Our teacher name is Asifa and okay so the sixth is the work is very interesting. Now we come to the grammar part verbs open on page five you learned about sentences a sentence needs a verb some verbs or words for action this kind of verbs describe movement or change the verbs in these two sentences about mickey or action verbs they tell what mickey does you can see Mickey in action. Mickey drives a convertible. She talks. Verbs do not always describe action. These verbs, the verbs in these sentences about Mickey do not describe any movement or change. They are non-action verbs. In this picture, Mickey is not doing anything. Mickey is a student. That's a verb showing the being. She has and shows a position. She has friends at school. Okay, so recognize practice nine. Recognize a verb. I have a cell phone. I make calls to my friends every day. My friends call me. This is showing an action here. That is showing an action. We talk a lot. Sometimes my friends leave me a voicemail. I listen to my messages. Sometimes my friends send me text messages. My phone has a camera. It has a camera. I take a lot of pictures with it take a lot of pictures my phone is very important to me is it's the practice sentences practice 10 here we do building sentences work alone or with a partner write six statements use words from the box use all six verbs Okay. My friend, subject verb, okay, so six. My friend is, okay, my friend has a big family. My friend has a big family. Okay. 
my roommate listens to music. Lessons to music. He eats fish. She rides horses. She is a student. Okay, write down, listen, down, eats, done, has done, is done, goes. My friend goes to movies. Okay, period. Example, my roommate has a new computer. I already did them here, so no need to write them back again here. Uh, the simple present of the verb be, the words am, are, and is, or the verbs are, the am, are, and is, are verbs. They are simple present forms of verb be. The verb be is the verb that people use most often in English. B is the base form of the verb. The chart shows statements with M, R, and S. It shows affirmative statements and negative statements. To make a statement negative, use not. Statements with the verb B. I am. You are. I am ready. You are ready. He is ready. She is ready. It is ready. Bill is ready. You are not ready. It is not ready. Subject. Be not ready. We are not ready. You are not ready. Bill and I are not ready. Bill and I are not ready. Is it Bill and I or Bill and all? See Appendix C, 30 page 199 for contraction with the verb B. Okay, let's go and see it. Page 199. Supposedly, if this is 30, Let's see what page number in 12. Okay, so we can say plus 199. I think it's, it will come in 229.
yeah, these are the contractions. Okay, the contractions are the page 199. Okay, yeah, these are contractions. Okay, so these are the contractions. I'm, I'm not, we are, we're not. I'm, I'm not, we're, we're not, you're, you're not, they're, they're not, is, is not, she's, she's not, it's, it's not, or it isn't, she isn't, he's not, again can be contracted as he isn't, uh, they are not, they aren't. Two forms of the contraction can happen. Uh, we can just say, I'm not, or, okay, I'm not. It doesn't have any other contraction form. We're, we're not, or we aren't, we aren't. You're not, you aren't. They are not, they aren't, he's not, he isn't, she's not, she isn't, it's not, it isn't. Okay. Let's return back to our previous. Okay, that is done. Let's see, practice 11, the verb be in affirmative statements. Underline the subject of each statement, write the correct form of the verb be. I, this is I, and we say M, U, R, we, R, my classmates are the class is my classes are you and I are the teacher is so this is singular you and I become uh, pro plural so it they R is used for them. My classmates, so few of cla many of my classmates, they're like a number of them, more than one. We are, so we are many people. You, you are. Her first language, her first language, it's one language only, is. Practice 12, the verb be in negative statements. Write negative statements, use the correct form of verb be plus not. You late, you are not late. The exercise is difficult. Okay. The Excel the exercises are okay we are making negative so I have to add not not difficult it cool today it 
is not cool today. My friends My friends are not here. The teacher is the teacher in his office. You and Olga in this group. Or not? In this group. I'm not angry. We are on page 12. Basic sentence patterns with the verb be. So basic sentence patterns with the verb be. The verb be has many uses. Here are these. Here are three ways to use be in sentences. Rule one, rule two, rule three. To identify a person or thing, use be plus a noun. I'm a new student. Mali is Mali is a country in Africa. To tell where someone or something is, use be plus an expression of place. Our room is on the third floor. I am from Lebanon. Okay, so we use B for three purposes. Now, there's to ident identify a person or a thing. I'm a new student. It's a noun, B and a noun. Or B can be used with uh, to show where something or someone is. I am on the third floor. Shoes. Uh, identifies the person, choose the states, and choose as well at its location. Yeah, to describe someone or something, use be in an adjective. Maria and Louis are married. So they are married. I'm twenty years old. Mm hmm. Good. Uh, sentence patterns with the verb be. Work alone or with a partner. What follows the verb be in each of these statements? In each statement, underline the form of be and the words after it. Uh, then circle noun, place or adjective or age. Okay. Supposedly here they have done. <clears throat> I am 30 years old. So they have underlined it. And now I, this is my nickname, is the subject and is Nikio. Nico. So here, what is what have they done? It is a noun. 
Nico, it's a noun. I am not married. I'm not married. Okay, so they have uh, an adjective or age. My family is not here. It's a place. Here is a place. My parents are teachers. Noun. I'm from a small town. I am from a small town. It's an adjective. It's, de it's defining it. My eyes are brown. Or brown. Adjective. My favorite sport is soccer. This work is easy. We are on page 14. A noun. Practice 14. So for this one, this page 14 because it is in a book and it is the name of the page 14. So I'm choosing it as a noun because I think place just to be used in geography or a location it has to show on, on the earth. I'm supposed to. It's supposed to be like that, right? Or on the table, in the book, and those can be in place. You definitely comment down below above about this 10th uh, question. Statements with the verb be. Marco is writing about himself and his school. Complete Marco's statements with a subject from the box M is or R. Okay, my name is Marco. So now, I am I speak. Okay, so I think it will be my first language. Language is Spanish. I am a student. So my school My school is in Los Angeles. Okay, my classmates. Are from different places. Okay. My classes are interesting.
and I am 20 years old. I am came three times. Do you think we could have used any other combination to fill these? Please let me know down in the comments below. Write true statements. Use subjects from the box and port A. Eh? Use M or or as. My name is Safia. I am from the earth. Okay, we could use subjects from here. Use the subjects from the box in port A. So I believe these are eight and we can use all of them. So I've used I am and then my first language is as let's say English. And let's say I'm a student. Let's say the fifth one was here. My school is in Los Angeles and my school is, is in Najang. In let's say in US. A. My classmates are from many different places. Okay. My classmates are locals. They aren't from different places. They are locals. Okay, my classes are interesting. Fantastic, my classes are fantastic. I am 21 years old. Okay, so these are the subjects and you can fill them according to yours. You can say anything I am or you can use this, the subjects from here, from these. Write again yours on your notebook. Applying vocabulary using words for names. You will write about your name when you write a paragraph to introduce yourself on page 18, review the words for names on page 3. Okay, so the words on page 3 were, I don't remember them yet, they are first name, middle name, last name, or the family name, or the nickname, those are the words. Writing names, practice 15, writing names. Read the paragraph, then complete the sentence. Write the first name, middle name, last name, nickname, or full name. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Gianna Carlo Roberto Vital. Please call me Johnny. I am from Rome, Italy. As so, this is now the full name. 
full name is and Giancarlo Giancarlo is his first name Roberto is his last name. Roberto is his middle name. Vitel is his last or family name. He is okay. His nickname. His nickname is Johnny. Review these sentences from the writing model on page 2 and 3. Use them as model to write full sentences about yourself. My name is Shokwat, Shokat Mateen. So, my name is Sophia. Sophia Nadim My my nickname is Caroline. My name is Zhang, but please call me Calvin. Okay, my family name is Nadine. Nadim means friend. The writing process. I think we we are going to finish till here. And the writing process, we will begin in the next session again.